present to God's will for all man. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 says, Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? That's God's will. That all men be saved and come to this understanding that the life you are now living is not the true way for your life. To come to the knowledge of the truth. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth? God comes to save you. To remove you out of the dunghill and the position that you're currently in. That change is called repentance. Hallelujah, Jesus. That is God's will for you. That all men be saved. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that is called salvation. And I summarize in my own possible way. Three truths of God's will for all men. And when I was doing it, I was thinking about all the residents, all the persons that were on Red Hills Road. And I want to make it known to you tonight, what is the truth of God's will? It is to give all man eternal life. And I want Minister Mackin to get ready with these scriptures. It says, what is the truth of God's will? It is to give you eternal life. Man I always want a way to live forever. I try to do them best to live forever. Amen. They want to search out for some fountain of you to try and live forever. They want to come up with some potion that they can drink. Hallelujah. That will cause them to live forever. The Egyptians wanted a way out. They wanted to say they're going to come back again in another lifetime because they want to live forever. All man wants to live forever. But God is the only one that is giving away eternal life. So if you want to live forever, you have to repent first. Hallelujah. Jesus. For God is giving away eternal life. His death put eternal life into effect. So man can have access to it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's have that scripture. John, chap John chapter 10, verse 10. Let's hear what it says. Praise God. For St. John chapter 10, verse 9 to 11. And I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Amen. And shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Amen. So the scripture we just read a while ago, it is making known to you that God is the only way, the door, the access to eternal life. He made known to all men that there is a deceiver. There is someone called Satan, the devil, that comes to steal, to rob, and to destroy, and to create havoc in your life. But God made known his will for all man, that all man should have access to abundant life, also called eternal life. And he gave his life so all man can have eternal life. So that is will number one. Will number two is for all man to be holy. That's God's intention, that man be holy. Hallelujah. Embracing and loving the things that God loves. Refraining from the things that he hates. Hallelujah. That is God's will. So let's have that scripture. First, First Peter. First Peter 1, 15 to 16. But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. So the Lord is holy. The Lord is calling somebody tonight with a holy calling to be different, to be set apart. Amen. What we are really exposing you tonight is that when you come on the Lord's side, you can't live the way how you want to live. You have to live the way how God intends for you to live. And so we are obviously making it known to you. We are not setting you up for anything, but we are telling you just as it is. That God is giving eternal life to all men. That God wants all men to be holy. And God wants all men to know true love. Have the understanding of what true love is. So let's read that scripture. Praise God. Hallelujah. First John 4, 8-9. to He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us. Because that God sent his only begotten son 
into the world that we might live through him. Amen. Hallelujah. So I have taken the time to put out these three strong and very important will of God for the community of Red Hills Road. All the members that are here understanding God's will for your life. God's will number one is to give you eternal life. To save you from the destruction that is to come. That you will have life after this life. Hallelujah. God's will is for you to be set apart. Holy and different. Hallelujah. As I said, we're not setting you up for anything. We're telling you as it is. God's will also is for all men to understand true love. More people have given up on love. Hallelujah. Saying true love doesn't exist. But we're here to tell you that God is love. And why did I take the time to do this? I understand in our inner city that persons don't really understand anything and value life. Hallelujah. Every day we get up and we go to another funeral. Every day we just do what we want to do, not understanding that God is giving all man an opportunity at eternal life. The next thing what came to mind about being holy is that people want to live any way they want to live. To dress a certain type of way and to put on all sorts of accessories and so on. And we're saying that that's not God's intention and will for you. God's will and intention is that you be set apart, look different, understand the true meaning of beauty. Hallelujah. God's will also is that all men demonstrate true love in the way how they embrace relationships. We're seeing in our communities where there are not many fathers. There are so many absentee fathers. Amen. So many young ladies don't know about anything about true love and being loved. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we're here to make known God's will for your life. Thank you, Jesus. But listen to this. The human malfunction. There's a problem with man. Even though we're making all these beautiful things known to you. There is a malfunction that all humans suffer. God is the chief manufacturer. He made all humans. But there is a problem. We're not really going to get into the problem and the malfunction of human. But I'm just going to read the scripture for us. And it says in John chapter 3 verse 19. And this is the condemnation. That light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds are evil. So we're here to tell you that God's will is for you to be holy. But you don't want to give up the dance. You don't want to be holy. You don't want to give up the short shorts. You don't want to let them go. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you love darkness rather than light. Hallelujah. You don't want to be married. You want to shock up and you want to live anyway. God's will is that all men be holy. And that all men understand true love and true relationships. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so we emphasize in closing, is either you're going to take opportunity at change or you're going to perish. The scripture we read earlier is not that his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, take opportunity at change. I didn't allow it to be complex tonight, but easy. For you to understand that God wants you to change. God wants you to leave that relationship that you're in. God wants you to leave the Brazilian year and all that behind. The Lord wants you to leave all those baby fathers that you have. It's about a holy living. We're making it known to you. You can think about it now and be willing to accept God's will for your life or not. But it's either you repent or you perish. It is either you accept to change. Hallelujah, or perish. Hallelujah, so we're making it known to you. God is giving you eternal life. God is saying, leave the dance. Leave the drugs. Leave all of that and come on this side. Praise the Lord Jesus. It says either you repent or you perish the night riddles road. The simple message of God's will is that you change. Is that you come and grab a hold of eternal life. It is that you be holy. So you have to leave those things behind. You have to acknowledge that there is a problem. Just like how we have made it known. 
All those things that you're doing is not the true intention of God for your life. So is there anybody that wants to take opportunity at change? Anybody wants to leave what they're in right now for change? God is saying repent, change, repent or perish. Amen. So the Lord bless you tonight in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Sound words tonight. Only one life. So soon it will pass Only what's done For Christ we last Only one chance To do His will So give to Jesus us all your days it's the only life that pays when you recall you have but one life only one life hallelujah so soon it will pass only what's done for Christ we last only one chance to do his will so give to Jesus all your days it's the only life that You have but one life. Praise God. Somebody need to lift their hands and give God thanks tonight. For his words, praise God. The will of God for mankind. Hallelujah. For it's not his will that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're inviting you, praise God. Hallelujah. To give your life to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Before it's too late. Hallelujah. It's not that we don't have anything at our homes to do. Praise God. But we are here, praise God, because God commissioned us to be here to bring the gospel to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of you all come to church. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that's why we are here. Praise God. To give it to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to close. Praise God. But yes, we are inviting you one more time. Praise God. If the Lord tarries, praise God to church. Praise God. As I said before, we have abundant life tabernacle. Praise God to my right on the plaza. Praise God. A warm welcome awaits you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We also worship at 103 Renfield Avenue on the boulevard. Praise God. And if you have any relative, are you? Praise God. You Somehow you live in Waterhouse and you're just passing by. Yes. There's a church there as well. Praise God. Three St. Kitts Road. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And receive the gift of the Holy Ghost that you can be saved. Mighty God. Hallelujah. We're going to close tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. But if you are there, praise God. And you want us to pray, praise God. We are going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Eternal God. We give you thanks, hallelujah, for tonight. We give you thanks ah, for the man of God that has brought forth your words. Hallelujah. The will of God. Hallelujah. In truth and in fact, your word said in the last days, there shall be scoffers, mockers, Hallelujah, saying, our oh God, we are the promise of his coming. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were. Hallelujah to God. And so, Lord, your word said it's not your will that we should perish. 
a thousand, praise God, days, a thousand years. Hallelujah. And our sight is like a day to you, mighty God. And so help us to understand that you are still, oh God, waiting for someone else to get into the ark of safety. I pray, God, that this word will take root in somebody's heart. Lord, and they will respond, hallelujah. As on the day of Pentecost, hallelujah, where the people said, Oh God, what shall we do to be saved? Because they were pricked in their heart. Tonight we are saying, as Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you, unto your children, even as many as the Lord our God shall shall call. Tonight God is calling somebody and we are praying that you'll make an appropriate response. Thank you Holy Ghost for what you have done tonight. Go with us Lord as we leave this place. We ask for journey mercy. We ask for coverage. Mighty God and if it's your will for us to be here back on Sunday night Lord and let it be done. Thank you, Holy Ghost, as we tell you thanks again. And let the church say, in Jesus' name. Jesus Come on, one more time, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Praise God. God bless you, people of Redding's Road. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah.